hello friends welcome back to my channel and today we are back with another exciting tutorial on GitLab so this will be a continuation of GitLab CICD tutorial for beginners and in the in the previous tutorial we have seen the basics of CICD continuous integration continuous uh, deployment continuous delivery right and we also seen how to set up SSH uh, in GitLab so this will uh, tutorial you know in this tutorial we will talk about GitLab runner so GitLab runner is one of a key uh, topic which you need to understand to run CICD in GitLab okay so to give some information on GitLab runner so GitLab runner is an application that picks up and executes the CICD jobs which you run on GitLab so you can compare this to Jenkins probably if you, are, you have used Jenkins you may see Jenkins nodes right where you run the yeah, jobs from Jenkins so similar way you can consider GitLab runner is a place where you run the jobs okay so uh, GitLab runner is you know basically you set up with uh, you know, an application which you on the machine which you want to act as a you know host to run this job so you it's an open source uh, component GitLab runner okay and uh, there are two type of runner one is like a specific runner which we can configure for uh, specifically for the project and there are, there are also shared runners which comes along with the GitLab so there are some restrictions which we will talk uh, you know how, uh, what is that shared runners okay and uh, the other point which you want to understand like GitLab runner you can install this GitLab runner on any kind of operating system whether it's a Windows or Linux or it can be run even inside a docker container so that's uh, some basic information on GitLab runner we will see more about uh, on the GitLab side so let's move on you know to some more uh, important information so in this tutorial what we will do is we will be setting up GitLab runner on Windows machine okay so what the steps we will be doing is we will have to download the GitLab runner binary file then we have to register the runner and we have to install the runner as a service and start it so then you will be able to see the runner is configured in the GitLab so you can make use of the runner to run the, your CI CD jobs so before we get into the actual demo process uh, I would request you like if you're new to my channel or if you haven't subscribed to my channel click on the subscribe button to uh, get the you no know, more videos and also like my videos share and comment so let's get started with our actual uh, demo on how this uh, setup is done for GitLab runner so before uh, let me also show you some information so uh, these are some of the project which I have it in the GitLab so if you don't know how to create a project please check my previous tutorial where we have shown you how to create project and how to uh, push through git commands okay so let me open you know a simple uh, project which is my first GitLab project where you can see I have already run uh, some uh, pipeline build so if I go to settings and there is an option called CI CD so there are two CI CD one is over here which is for pipeline jobs and editor if you go to settings we have a CI CD option right so just click on that and there are uh, quite some options here and there is a tab for runners right so you can see the runners are the process that picks up and execute the CI CD job for GitLab right so how to configure it that is what we are going to see now if you expand this now you can see uh, you know you can register as many runners as you want right and you know there are active and pause states and there are two kind of runners which we spoke like specific runners and shared runners so these uh, specific runners are specific to this project and this shared runners are shared across GitLab instance. Now here if you see this uh, shared runner is uh, disabled, so usually by default it will be enabled. I have disabled it. Uh, so if you have to you know, use shared runners, one thing you have to be uh, understood is like these are free to use for public open source project limited to 400 CI minutes per month. Okay. Uh, for a uh, private project so 400 uh, CI minute is uh, allowed for your private project but if it's uh, no uh, open or public project you can make use of that as well so you can see the runners you know you have different kind of runners which is already you know, in active states over here but if you see what we are going to do is like we are going to set up a specific runner in this okay so 
uh, we have to make use of a windows machine and uh, you know you'll be able to see a runner added of here okay so you will be using this token for it so that's why i just showed you like we need uh, this location and we need to make use of this runner so the runners are configured specific to project okay so uh, you, it's not like you just set up a runner and it's used for all project uh, basically so you need to register it uh, specifically using the project token so you can just do that now uh, the step you know I will link all this uh, documentation also into the video description where uh, where it's talking about how to install GitLab runner for Windows so first thing what you need to do is we need to create a folder name you know in the name of GitLab so it it's cannot it man it's not mandatory that it has to be in that name so as per the documentation it says GitLab runner and you need to download this binary file now if you see I have already downloaded this uh, binary file okay and I have to rename this as GitLab runner dot exe so I'm just going to rename this file okay so. Let me just rename this to GitLab Runner.exe. So this part is done, and now we need to register the runner, and also uh, we need to start the runner as service. So you need to open a command prompt as uh, you know administrator. So in the elevated uh, stage, so you just need to open a command prompt, uh, and let's go to this folder. So let me go to the folder. So it called uh, CD Git Lab Runner. Okay, and you can see. Sorry, since I've used all these commands in Linux, <laughs> it's, that's coming up here as well. So you can see the file over here, right? GitLab Runner.exe. So in order to register the uh, GitLab runner, what you need to do is you need to run a command like uh, GitLab runner .exe register and then it will ask you to enter some information. So I'm just going to copy this and uh, I'm going to run this uh, command over here. Okay. GitLab runner and register. So now you can see uh, it's asking you to enter some uh, details. So enter the GitLab instance URL. So you, what you need to you do is you just need to copy this uh, content and just paste it the same thing because we we are using the GitLab. Uh, this is the same URL which we are going to use. If you are using a host internal hosted URL which is in the different uh, URL, you need to give that. And you know you need to enter the registration tokens which will be uh, coming from uh, this uh, page. Okay, where we went to settings and CI/CD and we went to uh, uh, runners, right? So I'm just going to copy this and uh, i'm going to paste this registration token and you can enter some description uh, for this runner so i will just uh, put windows uh, machine okay and some tag so the tags mean you can use these tags when you're running uh, the jobs so tags will help you to make sure that you know when you run the job it can check okay this tag is mapped to this runner so you run this uh, job on this runner so I will put like a PowerShell, maybe right, and the Windows. I'll just put some tags over here, and you know you can also put some executors here. So similar like you know you have a Docker, you know a shell. So I will just put shell here. Okay. Okay. So you can see the uh, runner is registered so now let me come here and uh, refresh this page and uh, let me expand the runners again now you see like we have a runner available here right so but the runner is uh, still in a disabled or not connected stage so we have added the runner now we have to start the runner so in order to start the runner you need to follow these uh, steps you need to install and you need to start so let's just go back to the screen and uh, let's call the GitLab runner and uh, you need to install it. Okay, so now we can see it's a uh, runtime. Uh, it has already completed that and we need to start it. Okay, so now the runner is uh, started as well. So let me go back to this uh, CICD screen and let me just refresh it. Okay, let me expand the runners again. 
now we can see the runner is active so that means the runner is ready and now you should be able to use this runner uh, for uh, you know running your ci cd job so you can also see you know the tags which we have used powershell windows so these tags will be helpful like when you create the jobs you can tell like you know uh, this uh, job has to be running on the you know machine which using these tags so that was a pretty simple process right so it's a very pr pretty simple process to set up the runner and you will also see in the upcoming tutorial how to set up runner on linux and also how to make use of runner as a docker uh, container so we can uh, create jobs where we can uh, create images uh, uh, you know for a specific application which on docker uh, containers and then we can run those applications so we'll show all these things in the upcoming tutorial now here in this case now the runner is running now if you want to stop it you can use stop uh, command and uh, that should be done so if you refresh it back let me go back and expand the runner Yeah, I think we should remove it from here as well. And I uh, know we need to uh, stop uh, also the uninstall the service. So you can uninstall it from here if you want to remove the runner. Now you can see it has been removed as well and you can just remove it uh, from here as well. So once you remove it, the runner uh, will be removed from uh, the machine. So it will not be running uh, you know, in the specific runner. If you want to run you know, the CICD job on your shared runners, you, sh you need to keep this enabled shared runner for this project. Okay, So these are some settings which you need to be aware about the runner from GitLab. So basically you can, as I said, you can compare runner as a place where the job has to be running. So general to Jenkins, you should use like some uh, nodes, you know, slaves, machines, which you will use it to run the jobs the same setup I, I would say like when we are talking about runner in GitLab so that is all for this tutorial I hope you know it's an informative tutorial how to set up runner and what are the different kind of runners you can use for your CICD project so I would request you to subscribe uh, my channel for watching more videos and the kindly you know support by liking sharing uh, these videos as much as possible so thank you for watching